Hi, hello and welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use an ESP8266 to build a POV display. So the display is already on over there. Let me just activate it from the web server. And as you can see, you can see a beautiful pattern that is being created from the NeoPixel LEDs. So we are programmed for three different patterns. Let me just quickly show you all. I will deactivate the first one. And then activate the next one and as you can see this is a different type of pattern which is being created over here now you can be creative and you can create a lot of patterns with a lot of different colors and it is not possible to create text using this if you want to know why stay tuned i will let you know why it is and i will deactivate this and i will also activate the last pattern now let me just increase the speed a bit so that the pattern gets more uh, visible now in real life it looks much more better but on camera it is a bit buggy so that is it guys this is how the project works now let me turn on the lights show you the circuitry and how everything was built and how everything works so stay tuned so here is our POV display with the lights turned on as you can see I am powering it with my RPS let me just reduce the voltage and slow it down so that you can see the board which is creating this pattern now as it comes to stop you can see the circuitry which is basically a strip of NeoPixel LED and a ESP8266 mounted on the back side with a motor over here. So let me just unmount everything and I will explain to you how the circuit is built and we will get going with it. So here is the complete circuitry which we saw earlier and believe me it is very very simple so that was the actual idea of this project to have this built in the easiest way possible so to do that we have selected ESP8266-01 which you can we have selected ESP8266-01 which you can see over here and then on the other side we have the ESP pins a lithium polymer battery the neo pixel LEDs itself and a switch to just control the whole power so this battery is a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery directly powers the neo pixel led as well as the esp8266 and then we have a small pull up resistor connected to gpio 0 of esp8266 now the actual idea behind this project was to display date and time but then we learned it in the most hard way that neo pixel leds are not a choice for pov displays the reason is that these leds take a lot of time to change colors and to even if you're flashing them you won't be able to flash them in a speed which can be used for pov displays so always use a uh, normal leds for your pov displays if you're using neo pixel leds you won't be able to turn them on and off at the required timings and another hard thing that we have learned is ESP8266 uh, GPIO pins are not that much user friendly so always use GPIO 0 with a pull up resistor when you are connecting any uh, neo pixel LED or any other load for that matter now apart from that there is nothing much to explain in the circuitry we have used a normal 12 volt DC motor what we have done is uh, we have removed the gearing arrangement and then we have directly mounted this uh, perf board over to this motor and then this is a small 3d printed clamp which uh, is used to mount this over any aluminium extrusion we have used a 2020 aluminium extrusion so that it looks neat but you can mount it anywhere you need just make sure it can withstand vibrations so that is it guys the circuit part is very simple i am not going to get into details of the code uh, you can find that in the link given in the description of this video so yeah if you want to just display random patterns or show some patterns which can be controlled through a web server then this project could be really useful for you hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned something useful out of it thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye